okay welcome back guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe so you can keep getting cool contents like this in the future so without further ado let's carry on from where we left off so we've already established like a light setup for this so i'm just going to move this and lights okay now let's select this head model I'm going to hide everything else so we just want to work on this head model so i'm just going to give this a new material AI yeah, standard head AI yeah, standard surface rather and i'll just name this to kong hair rather head head rather Okay, so uh, we'll start by using a preset in here. Let's use the skin preset, replace. Okay, then I'll go to the subsurface scattering. I'll take this all the way down. I don't want to see it for now, so I don't want to see it for now. Then we need to go. We need to go to the rendering editor, bring out hyper shade. Why is it taking this time to load? It's taking time to load. Well, that's strange. Rendering tab. Why is it taking time to load? Okay, now that's a strange one. Uh, okay, what is this? Man, man, it's so buggy. Why is the upper sheet not showing up? What is going on? Close this, close everything. <clears throat> save again and try to open this up if it doesn't open up then i guess i'll just have to restart okay okay well okay all right so we have this in here now shrink this down like so so this is the wukong head Let's go to the graph network for this. Okay. So I want to start by testing out the start by testing out the um displacement map. So hit tab displacement shader. So I'll drag this to the display to this and I'll delete this instead. Drag this out, drag this out some more. And let me get my displacement shader. I mean displacement map rather. So Z export, Z export, displacements, add displacements. I'll just drag and drop this in here. Okay, drag this all the way here. Okay, if I should look up my setup in here for displacements. So 
So our setup is pretty much like so. So we'll plug the out alpha to the displacement node. And I'll select the displacement map should be on raw. It's gonna apply its luminance for this. Then we'll select the mesh. Think under edge shape under displacement map. No, not the anode, under anode tab, under the anode tab. Subdivision, turn this cut clock. Uh, I think, I think, I think iteration should be on two, I guess. Yes, iteration should be on two. I just keep this here, so you just end it kind of use. Then under displacement attributes, turn on auto bump. Then if you expect this out of zebra, so this should be on 0.5. Beyond 0 0.5, that will work just fine. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Then this also scalar value should be on 0 0.5 also. I think this should be fine for now. So let's go to our anode render view. Let's do a quick render for this. Let's see what we have. Yeah, it's gonna be black. I'll select the mesh. Select the mesh. Let me stop this for now. Select the head mesh. And I would increase this weight value. But I like something a bit. Let's use more of a darker. Well, we've seen now. Let me use the let me use this render view instead. Should probably let's stop this for now. Should probably go closer to the face a bit more so I can see the intensity of it even better. Run this again. Now we're getting something very strong. We don't want something this strong. This is quite strong. So I need to reduce this. Can we just reduce the intensity? It's under this scale. Ah, uh, no. Better still, I would stop this for now. Select the head mesh under this. We want to adjust this from the height instead. So I'll adjust this from the height. So let's put this to let's go 0 0.15. Let's run this again. Let's see what we have. Still feels, still feels a bit strong. It takes this down to zero eight. Yeah, I think this this looks like a good one. Yeah, this is one. I believe we can work with this. This is fine. So I'm going to stop this <coughs> render for now. Let's bring back our hyper shade. And let's bring in the other maps for this. Bring in a normal map. So we have the 
So head color, normal map and roughness map. So I'll select all of this, drag and drop this in here. This is the base color. This is the normal map. This is the roughness map. So let's plug in the normal map first. So I'll select this normal map. Should be on raw alpha is luminance. Select this roughness map. Should be on raw alpha is luminance also. You tab on this AI normal map. Plug the out color to input out value to normal cam. Strength is at one. So let's see this at one. Let's collapse this. Let's run this through. Yeah, it's looking quite strong. Looks quite strong. So we have the strength here already. So we can just turn this down. Let me use a value of 0 0.5. Let's use 0.5. So let's go halfway. Maybe 0 0.4. What I'm saying. Let's see. a bit aggressive take this down even more please up too okay I think we <clears throat> believe we can work with this so I'll stop this for now Let's get the let's get our roughness map in there <clears throat> in there. So I would um okay open this out color, drag this R value to specular roughness. Okay, and let's visualize this. No, no, this thing wrong clear. Plug this in the wrong place. Stop this for now. I'm not supposed to plug this in here. So let me remove that. I'm supposed to set a value for the base roughness first. So for this roughness, I would use something around. I think I usually use for the base of specular roughness. I think somewhere around. Let's see. Let's let me see the values I'm using here. Uh, can't really find it here though, but I believe somewhere roughly around probably 0. Let's try 0. 0.7. Let's see what we have 0. 0.7. That's what we have. To start with something a bit rough, rough though, so we're going to put this for skin, skin 0 0.4 for skin, too rough, too reflective, rather. Okay, let me just put this as 0 0.6. Is a more darker area, so I cannot see this properly. So this will this will help me see the roughness a bit, reflectivity a bit properly. So I put this as eight. Yeah, I believe eight has always been the number to use for this. Okay, 
I'll go back to my I'll go back to the iPad shade and I'll plug this to the thing. Let me go to quotes. <clears throat> Increase the weight for this quotes. Should be on. No, uh, should I use oil instead? Let's leave it at oil. And let's drag this arrow to quotes roughness. Okay. Quote roughness seems fine. Yes, put plug in there. So take this out. This is true. Now this feels a bit too <clears throat> too reflective though. So let me stop this. I like to run this. I like to run this through. Let me run this through AI color correct node. So R should be running this correctly. Okay. I believe out color should be to input then this come on open this up then the arrow should go our channel should go to the code's roughness then we'll go to the AI color correct node which one do you want to reduce let me select this I think we should have it here with this here. I think we can take down the gamma. Let's use a value of 0 0.5. Let's see what we have. Let me do a snip, snip snapshot for this. Then we'll compare. I think we need a higher value. So 0 0.5. Okay, I think we're in a good place. Yeah, yeah a good place it should work. Yeah, this will definitely work. Maybe a bit more, so just this to value of three instead. Reflective, almost like sweat pores around, around his face. So after aligning this render through, this is what we have. Yeah, this looks fine. It should work. Okay. Yeah, I believe <clears throat> I believe this should work. Let me make sure. Let's run. Okay. Go to our beauty pass now, you should be able to see some of those. Yeah, this is good. So, the ID marks now, we should probably stop this for now. So, I'll do snap this snapshot of this, shrink this down. In this snapshot for this, then for the render set for the code map, I'll go to the roughness settings. Let's try this at a value of one. Let's see what we have. For now, if you look at this ID map, albedo, background, codes. These are codes, the reflectivity of this. Indirect, but oh, there's no volume in here. Indirect, I think probably should add a bit more AOVs to this. It is the correct ones. This one that is more related to the light. The light, used to be one that is related to the light. Can't seem to remember where that's. 
this is diffuse direct and indirect i guess diffuse albedo <coughs> So these three let's add in the SSS also and says do let's add all, the, all of this just in case so I'll send this over okay then let's fire up our again So yes, we need to be on beauty pass for this so we can see everything in here. Let me give this a moment. I'll come back when this is at least rendered to some extent. First, kind of see this properly. So I think I prefer the default. I think I prefer the default for now. So I'll leave this as it is. Stop the render. Okay, so now I think the next thing we need to do is to, is to bring in is to bring in the let me hit three on this two on this one on this okay <clears throat> so next we need to do is to bring out because that's this one now so rather is to bring in the put in the <clears throat> sss in here so if select this now then we'll go to subsurface capturing, increase this, put this on random walk. Okay. Set this to 0 0.03, I guess. Then, um, the scale should be adjusted i believe a more accurate scale for because i think it wasn't really what scale for the head it wasn't really what scale for the head so let's put that 0 0.1 but my still need to adjust it later on though but let's just start with the standard for now first then <clears throat> i would plug my out color my base color rather to the subsurface color because that's the texture we want we want to use for this Okay, I have to see if this color is the same. Also, open this up, put this on <coughs> XRGB, RGB rather, RGB 1 0 to 1. Think <coughs> this is close enough. Usually, I like using this, but since I'm working with the preset, let's see how the preset looks on this. So we we'll have the skin texture in there now. Close this. Let's fire this up. Let's see. This will take a moment though. So let's give this a moment. So I'll just run this and give this a moment. <clears throat> uh, right off the bat, I'm, I'm looking at this and I feel like I need. I think I need to do two things though. I'd like to plug this into a color correct node. That is one. Then secondly, I feel like I might need to adjust the just the uh, scale of this and using a bit lower. So let me stop this for now. <clears throat> Let's put the color correct node in here. So out color, out color to input also. Select this. One useful trick in here would be to select this would be to <clears throat> that would be to isolate run this
can we um okay let us <clears throat> let's do this step let me stop stop this for now